Have you ever questioned the authenticity of the moon landing? If so, you're not alone. The moon landing of 1969 is a subject of an ongoing debate, a cosmic controversy that has sparked the curiosity of millions around the world. Some firmly believe in its authenticity, while others, not so much. The skeptic's case is built on various pieces of evidence that suggest the moon landing might have been an elaborate hoax. These include the puzzling absence of stars in the photos taken on the moon, the fluttering American flag in a place devoid of wind, and the contradicting shadows that don't quite align with the sun's position. These anomalies have led many to believe that the moon landing might have been staged not in outer space, but right here on Earth. Intrigued? You should be. Buckle up as we journey into the cosmos of conspiracy. If you're in space, you'd expect to see stars, wouldn't you? That's a question that has puzzled many since the release of the moon landing photos and videos. The vast cosmos, studded with stars, is conspicuously missing in these records. How is it possible that the astronauts, supposedly in the outermost reaches of space, didn't capture a single star in their footage? Let's consider our own experiences. When we gaze up at the night sky from Earth, we see stars twinkling, even with the light pollution in our cities. So wouldn't the astronauts, far from Earth's light and atmosphere, have a view of the stars that's even more spectacular? NASA's explanation is that the stars were too faint to be captured due to the camera's exposure settings. But skeptics argue that this is just a convenient excuse. They propose a different theory. The astronauts were not in space at all, but rather in a studio on Earth. No stars in space? Something doesn't add up. Ever seen a flag waving in a place with no wind? Let's take a moment to ponder that. Picture the iconic image of the American flag on the moon, rippling as if caught in a gentle breeze. But wait a second, there's a problem with that image, isn't there? The moon doesn't have an atmosphere, meaning it doesn't have wind. So how could that flag be fluttering? There's a certain beauty to the flag's movements, a fluid dance that seems to defy the laws of physics. It's as if there's a hidden fan somewhere off screen, blowing air onto the fabric to create an illusion of movement. The only issue? There's no air on the moon to create that wind. And yet, there it is. The flag, waving in the lunar landscape. A perplexing mystery indeed. It's as if the very laws of nature are bending to the will of this scene. The flag waves, but the wind is silent. Curious, isn't it? Shadows don't lie, but they can reveal a lie. Let's delve into the realm of light and darkness, of truth and deceit. In the moon landing footage, the shadows tell a tale that's quite perplexing. If we observe closely, we find that they're inconsistent. They don't line up with the direction of the sun. But why is this important? Well, on the moon, with the sun as the solitary source of light, shadows should run parallel. However, the footage shows shadows that intersect and diverge. This suggests the presence of multiple light sources akin to a stage setup. It's a theater trick, a cinematic illusion. Could the moon's surface have caused this anomaly? Some argue that uneven ground could distort shadows. But experts counter this, stating that no level of unevenness can cause shadows to diverge at such drastic angles. Where there's shadow, there's light. But here, it seems there's more than one. So, we're left pondering, questioning, was the moon landing a grand theatrical spectacle? Why would anyone go to such lengths to stage a moon landing? You might wonder. Well, there are several intriguing theories. Firstly, consider the Cold War backdrop. The space race was a fierce competition between superpowers. The United States, eager to prove its supremacy, might have orchestrated this grand spectacle to claim victory over the Soviet Union. Secondly, we can't overlook the possibility of a cover-up. Maybe the moon landing was a far-fetched dream, an insurmountable challenge. In the face of failure and the fear of public embarrassment, perhaps fabricating a successful mission seemed like the only way out. Lastly, let's entertain a more sinister motive. Could it be that the astronauts did land on the moon, but stumbled upon something so shocking, so terrifying, that it had to be kept a secret? Alien life? Ancient civilizations? Secret bases? The truth is out there, but will we ever find it? Until next time, keep questioning.